and welcome back. Welcome back, Mr. Honorable Ron Reddit. Yes. Let's get into another phase of the conversation. Mm -hmm. Let, let's talk about your studies. Um, mm -hmm. you, you, of course, your studies, how it's been going. Mm -hmm. Um, what are you doing in these studies? Or what are these studies studies in? What right. that supposed yeah. to be? So, um, well, I'll just simply say it's a master's program. It's online. Um, I would be uh, starting my first course um, on the fourth. It's merely to finish up my degree. I started as you in 2019. Mm -hmm. um, I had to certainly put it up for the election and um, general election and um, I want to resume that because as you know um, in modern politics uh, a degree back in the days may not have been a primary focus because mm -hmm. once you could capture the crowd etc you're a politician but um, going forward you must have depth the public and certainly uh, special interest groups expect that any uh, politician would have rational thinking mm -hmm. would be able to critically reason on issues of national importance and not take an only educated view um, so for example will uh, prefer facts over propaganda and fiction and mm -hmm. just a simple thing like that mm. to draw reference so um, the studies is going well I, I must say there's uh, another opposition parliamentarian that is attending the same university uh, online as I am and mm -hmm. I wish that individual well as well oh, right. so wish him all the success so your, your course is actually online and not face to face no it's not um, so I'm not leaving the country I heard all kind of things that I'm going in uh, Uzbekistan <laughs> all kind of places and so on but I'm not going anywhere I'm staying here and I'm doing the degree online right. um, and how long is it expected to last um, um I wouldn't want to give a precise date because it is largely dependent on my own um, scheduling of the courses. Mm -hmm. But it's not expected to be uh, beyond uh, three years. No, beyond three years. It's not expected to be. You know, there's always going to be that, that, that public perspective, huh? you know, how they feel about this. Right. You know, some will say, you know, there are, are currently certain MPs who, who are able to complete their studies and, and run their ministries or constituencies. Um, uh, why do you think we find it necessary to step aside as, as of your ministry? duties cat look is not dog look so everybody's, <laughs> <laughs> everybody's um, outcome and so on is not dependent look the truth is there are many different routes that one can take to achieve their success mm -hmm. um, and I wouldn't want to specifically say that because Tom Jones did this I Ron Redhead should do it and do the same mm -hmm. I, I don't know that it must uh, operate like that and then I want to finish up the degree on a high I, I don't know that I want to just serve and have people helping me and so on. I'm, you know, uh, no offense to anybody who is serving as a government minister and finishing a degree, but I could tell you, it is a difficult task just to run a ministry and be a member of parliament, much less to add a degree in the mix. I don't know anybody who is mm -hmm. going to be able to do that. Then you have to factor in character is coming up, uh, the independence certainly that would have been a hectic period, um, and you don't want. Well, I would put it this way. I didn't want any distraction. Okay. This is my future, and this is a personal decision, but I still remain uh, fully committed to service. I still um, have access to uh, what I need to have access to to be able to function. Right. So the cabinet position is just that. I don't know that I would have the time to read cabinet conclusions, still study, and you know you have to factor in those things. So it's more of a, a technical... Um, uh, situation rather than just looking at it that this person so uh, maybe that's why they didn't perform um, well as ministers because you, you, can't, you can't balance that easy <laughs> no let me also ask you this do you think it's fair to the people of St. George's Northeast mm -hmm. that you know to offer yourself of the MP uh, and, and then go in to, to, uh, and, get, and get the opportunity to step back mm -hmm. uh, of course as, as their voice in cabinet you know I guess the, well, the folks voted for you for that particular reason <laughs> I, I wonder if you get a cut right. of my no, question no, no, well. it's fair, it's fair. So, so I'll put it this way um, that that um, you first get elected as a member of parliament yes. and your voice is first and foremost in the parliament for the people. Cabinet is at the uh, request primarily of or approval of the prime minister mm -hmm. in that sense. But aside from that, at cabinet, what you do is strictly related to the mundane government policies. You had to pass this, you had to come with that in the morning, you had to read this long document. You had to, those things are not always automatically um, utilized for um, deciding 
on the way forward. I must say, um, I didn't sit in previous cabinets, so I don't know how it was. But my experience in the cabinet is that we are minding the nation's business mm -hmm. and more so trying to decide where outdated policies are. How do we upgrade and improve them? And those policies that work out, do we continue to enhance them? So, uh, you know, irrespective of me being able to sit in cabinet, I am still fully able to serve my constituency. And that's my um, uh, primary focus focus, whether or not I was a minister of government or not. That's my primary focus. Now, outside of that, as I mentioned, I need to improve my capacity even further because we are dealing with a big world. We are dealing, it's not just me sitting in the ministry's office, we're dealing with the day-to-day -day, um, operations of the ministry. You have to treat with policy, you have to treat with international relations, you have to treat with uh, multi-dimensional elements. And therefore, one has to continue to upgrade his own capacity, mm -hmm. her own capacity, to be able to treat with that from the uh, beliefs that we already have and the things that we already know. And you, in life, you never stop learning. Mm. So, so my thing is that um, you know you need to continue and and and.